can take you anywhere Turn the pages and you'll be there Come on, join us, you'll see We're reading with Kevin Lee Hi, friends, and thank you for joining us for another Read with Carolee. I am your host, Carolee, and today we have very special guests. You know that we have authors from all around the world and maybe some down your street. Today, I am so glad to welcome mother and daughter duo, Shayla McGee and Peyton McGee. Hi. Hi. I am so excited to have you. And Peyton, you know what? You are our youngest author that has been on Read with Carolee. Congratulations. Yes. So Peyton, <laughs> do you want to tell everyone how old you are? I'm seven years old. Oh, that is so awesome. And I'm, I'm seven years old. I have my own YouTube channel and I have lots of friends. Oh, you go, girl. Oh, <laughs> yes. You are so awesome. And could you tell us where you are reading to us from today? We're reading from Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, yes, Atlanta, Georgia. Yes, our friends to the South. Oh, my gosh. I'm so glad that you'll be reading. To, and you're going to be reading Peyton Goes to London. Yes. So I guess you are a bit of a world traveler, Peyton. Yeah, I've been to Belgium, Florida, London, Paris, Holland oh. <laughs> and San Francisco. And San Francisco. <laughs> okay. Oh, you have been to some exciting places. Well, I can't wait to hear about your trip to London. So, Shayla, Peyton, take it away for our friends. Peyton goes to London. Peyton woke up and raced to the bathroom to brush her teeth and wash her face. Today was an exciting day. She and her family were traveling to London. After she put on her clothes, she looked at the map on the wall to find the city of London. There it is, she pointed. London is the capital of the United Kingdom, a country located on the continent of Europe. Ready? Mom asked as she peeked through the door. Ready, Peyton exclaimed. She grabbed her suitcase, ran down the stairs, and hopped in the car with her mom, dad, little brother, and little sister. The next stop was the airport. The flight to London was long, but Peyton was well prepared. She brought coloring books as well as her favorite toys and talked with her family. The airplane even had movies to watch and snacks to eat. After a long nap, they landed in London. The first thing they did was take a train named the Heathrow Express to Paddington Station. Her brother and sister loved the train ride. Bye-bye, choo-choo train. They yelled as it left the station. Next, Mommy and Daddy took them to Hyde Park. They enjoyed making wishes at the fountains and visiting the Rose Garden, but they loved going to the playground and making new friends most of all. As they left the park, Peyton saw a giant bus. Wow, I've never seen a bus like that before. It's called a double-decker bus. Bus. Her dad explained, let's all take a ride. They hopped on the bus and Peyton went to, to the top to get a better view of London as it took them around the city. From the top, she saw Big Ben. The tall tower's clock looked amazing and the bell inside rang as they passed by. 
The bus stopped and left the mall next to the London Eye. Peyton had never seen a wheel so big, but she was excited to get on. As they went higher and higher, her sister grabbed her legs. It's okay. Don't be afraid, Peyton said, giving her sister a sure hug. Next, they hopped on a boat that took them down the River Thames. They could see the Tower Bridge from the water. Their last stop was Buckingham Palace. Peyton loved seeing the guards march back and forth in their top in their red coat and tall black furry hats. I wonder what it would be like to have a tea with the queen, she thought. On their way to the hotel, they paused to eat at a beautiful restaurant decorated with pretty pink, yellow, and white flowers. They ordered fish and chips, which is a popular dish in London. In London, French fries are called chips, she explained to her brother. As the day came to an end, Peyton looked up at her parents and gave them great big hugs. Thank you for bringing us here, she said. I can't wait for our next family adventure. The end. That was such an amazing story, Peyton. Oh my gosh. I am so glad that you wrote all about your travels to London. And you have you've traveled a whole lot for someone that's just seven years old. So I, I guess either mom or Peyton, you can add, answer this question. What was your reason for wanting to write this book? Um, we were inspired to write this book after Peyton's trip to London. She really enjoyed, well, her first trip was at four years old and she really enjoyed going to Belgium. Um, and we went to France on that trip. So when we came and went to London, she was a little bit older and she took in a lot more culture and she just loved talking about her travels. And so when we came back, I asked her if she wanted to write a book and she said she did. So we decided to write Peyton Goes to London. Oh, that's amazing. And, you know, here at Read with Carolee, we've been fortunate enough to, well, we're not traveling, but we've had authors from all around the world. And I actually just recorded with an author who is from London. So this, this is such an amazing <laughs> segue. And Peyton, so did you like the fish and chips? Yes. Yes. I, you know what? One of my favorite dishes are fish and chips. Wow. <laughs> so I actually had some fish and chips yesterday. <laughs> so Peyton, how does it feel to be an author? Good. <laughs> I'm sure that a lot of your friends must think it's so exciting that you are an author, right? Yeah. When I was outside, uh, we were coming up from the quarter set because my mom called me to autograph a book. And then I wrote my name and then one of my friends, uh, they could autograph it too. Oh, yeah. You got to tell them you have to write a book too. <laughs> and then you could write your name in it. <laughs> That's awesome. So, you know, Shayla... I know you've been such an inspiration to your daughter. And do you have any other books um, that that inspire her as well? Or that might have inspired you growing up? Yes, we do have um, many other books. Well, one book that inspired me um, when I was growing up was The Talking Eggs. I just loved that book growing up. I loved reading it. I loved seeing characters that looked like me. So one mm -hmm. of our is to write um, books that um, show diversity and our books want to really show diversity in travel. Um, and so we also do have coloring books that um, are diverse as well. So we have, thank you 
pages. Um, these affirmational coloring books, we have okay. I Am Bright, Bold, and Beautiful um, yeah. that showcases different affirmations on um, different pages for young um, children to color with. We also have, Peyton has our mermaid coloring book, Magical Mermaids, that also okay. shows um, diverse coloring um, pages with mermaids. That's amazing. And our last one is I am smart, strong, and successful, and it's an affirmational coloring book for boys. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> so I am so excited to see that you have uh, your traveling adventures books as well as the coloring books. So what is the, go ahead, Peyton. <laughs> we're ma we're um, working on a new book called Peyton Goes to Paris. Oh, you know what? You read my mind because that was my next question. <laughs> so Peyton goes to Paris. So how old were you when you went to Paris? Can you remember? Six. You were four. What? You were four. four years old. <laughs> <when you were. laughs> yes. Yeah, so that that was a long time ago for you, huh? That's almost <laughs> half your life away. <laughs> so I'm sure that you you had some quite some adventures in Paris. So I can't wait to see the next installment for Peyton Goes to Paris. Go ahead, Peyton. <laughs> At nighttime, the um the Eiffel Tower sparkles, and the oh, sparkles wow. are purple. Oh. <laughs> That is amazing. Well, I can't wait to see it in the book. Oh my gosh. So Peyton, I want to thank you so much for coming and being on the show with me. And you read so beautifully. I am so proud of you. And I'm so glad that you have, you've been able to be our youngest author on Read with Carolee. <laughs> yes. And Shayla, thank you so much for the inspiration and thank you for all that you're doing. And, you know, friends, you were able to see the coloring books and Peyton goes to London. And I know you can't wait to see Peyton goes to France. So just make sure that you see in the description below how you can find out more about Peyton and her family and her travels. Well, Peyton um, and Shayla, it's time for us to go, but we cannot thank you enough for coming and being with us. So thank you for joining us here at Read with Carolee. Thank you so much, we enjoyed it. <laughs> yes, thank you. And I love your matching jackets, Peyton. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, friends, it's time to come to the end for another read with Carolee. But remember to always grab a book, maybe Peyton goes to London, and read. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching another amazing episode of the Read with Carolee show. We have amazing authors coming by every week. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. You don't want to miss a thing.